phone. Yeah, so I've got my got my mobile phone and I can I can click the buttons on the mobile phone. And then something happens on the computer. Um, so you've seen that. But then what I've also got is my device here. And um, I'm going to uh, well, in fact, you can do it. If you just click that button there, you'll see something happen. This one? Yeah, just click it once. Okay, so what's actually happened is that the state of this machine here has changed, and the state on my mobile phone has changed as well. So this is a device, say, you can have a teacher using that to control the activities that students are doing in a face-to-face -face environment. Okay, so if you click it again, Okay, so my state's changed again, and uh, then it's still going to be some instructions to a task. The task actually isn't quite um, quite proper yet, but we'll click it once more. Okay, so we're just now you can imagine everybody's screen is changing in that moment that you click. Okay, so what's happening is that that thing is sending a wireless signal to a hub on the teacher's sort of whiteboard machine. Yeah. And um, that is then, well, it's bouncing a signal off the internet and coming back. And it's using a technology called WebSockets, which is just really very fast communication. And um, the idea of this is all the kids get a different letter, and then they can say, okay, what letter have you got? And I can, I can put my word in here. And the other cool thing is, um, obviously, one of these then. Well, you could, you could do that. Well, I haven't made one for everybody, but basically what I've, what I've set up here is just everyone's got a controller, and by typing a message in the controller, the message goes on the one. Um, but yes, you could, if you had 30 of these, then you've obviously got, you've got more options for, for doing that. But the point is that it's just sort of really easy, straightforward to, um, to do. So, you know, as I, click that, as I click that through, in fact, I can have... If I can make some small windows, and you can see how you know, a number of windows will all change. Um, all change together. Um, well, that's actually started from the beginning, but you just sort of change that through, and then you can just see that. I'm feeling quite pleased with myself. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. So my next step is to obviously make lots of these and um, let's see if we can actually try because you can do voting through just like this. Um, they're so cheap that you could probably you could just why don't we have a button each on the table? Or you know, it doesn't have to be a button. It could be an RFID sensor or anything that, that does stuff. So, as I say, the signals go through to the hub there as soon as I click it.